Hi, it's September 25th, 2011. This is Bernie Gobuck in the back garden looking at the Sunday Times and Sunday Business Post, as I do on a lot of Sundays in Ireland, checking out the news as it may fit those Irish living overseas, or from an American's perspective, what's happening. You can see the top of the columns here. French farce, snow time, family finance, free Coldplay tip, tip, tip. If you want to just go ahead, if you're living in Ireland, to sundayclub.ie stroke Coldplay 2, you'll get the downloads. About four or five tracks. Five tracks, it says. Lowercase c, Coldplay. I am Top Gold, living on InsideView.ie, www.insideview.ie. Front page, Sunday Times, Colin Coyle. It's a story about an epic blunder in the National Library. A book costing 98000 a document, the treasures of the National Library of Ireland was withdrawn because of dozens of typos. 96-page book, seen by the uh, Sunday Times. Lots of errors. Limerick is Galway. At the Customs House is at the Four Courts. And the Botanic Gardens on the south side of Dublin, as we know. Living here just for 10-15 uh, years, none of those things are true. It's about, what, a thousand, a thousand euro a page is what that costs? plus the uh, publication. The auditors looked at it, the Comptroller and Auditor General saw these things, and for a PR class I teach, these are important metrics. Clarity is as to the detail of the work to be, formed, to be performed, time frame for completion, and a limit on expenditure. I'm doing PR campaigns with my students at American Institute of Technology. Those are important things. Three quiet cheers for a reluctant hero, a poor profile of Orla Tinsley, it's really, uh, it's, a great, it's a great story. And I've seen her on uh, RT television, heard her before. Um, victim of cystic, cystic fibrosis. She wrote a memoir, the new one out, is called Salty Baby, a reference to the salty tasting skin, classic symptom of cystic fibrosis. We may be working with cystic fibrosis for the Pen and Pixel 2012 exhibition. Interesting story in the UK news section by Tom Ripley. He says the army is going to ditch 1,800 vehicles in the Afghan pullout. Military officials are drawing up plans to leave behind Mastiff and Warthog troop carriers and Jackal reconnaissance vehicles, despite them costing 3.4 billion euro. And if you go to the Philippines today, you can still see the remnants of the jeeps left behind by the Americans. The suspensions, wheels, and axles are parts of the taxis. <laughs> Many of the jeepneys are called. The road ahead, just how bad is the economy going to be? Matthew Lynn, two-page story. Here's the, here's the real issue. The euro is going to collapse. It's on the brink of collapse. Europe heading towards that problem. U.S. heading towards a double-dip recession. And maybe the whole world will flush down with it. Awesome. Credit crunch, crunch too, has also begun. Can't get a house loan in Ireland. And credit lines are really tight. Inside the Sunday Business Post, where you expect better news, perhaps... The voice of uh, Martin McGuinness as the head of the Irish presidency, or not. Maybe it'll be David Norris. That's what the uh, Pat Lee says, the political editor of the paper. Inside the Sunday Business Post, more business news, hoping that Ireland can escape the ravages of the double dip recession. Here's one reason that we may be austere in the future. Pat Lee says, if you listen to the Taoiseach, he's qualified his previous commitments not to raise income tax or cut welfare rates. Good exercise in PR for government. What the man's really saying and what's really going to happen behind promises is reality. The cash dilemma for parents. This is a recurring topic. Emma Kennedy explores a full page of financial issues. Here's what she's hitting on that in her third paragraph that affects us. Child care costs go to hundreds of euro a month, and we're just wondering, can we just hang up one of the incomes, stop the child care expense, and maybe be ahead? Tourism. Media Marketing says, shuts Siobhan Brett, is going social media. And the article explains Tourism Ireland has actually brought in potential social networking hooks as part of a content process. Social realm is now the basis for all the campaigns. We, turn, we had to turn content into a process. Yeah, you do. That's what we teach. Social media as well as media writing courses where I work in LIT. Hey, look, Adrian Weckler's on a roll. Find some cool stuff. Uh, I use this as well. It's called the Vodafone Performance Pro Mobile Broadband Service. He outlines the fact that he's getting speed where I'm not. He's getting 9 to 15 megs a second. I'm getting about a 1 or 2. But I'm not in a big city. He's up in Dublin. Um, it, it does seem to have a better network uh, priority hook. 
gets you into the high speed lane. It gets you onto the high speed mass that Vodafone has. HSDPA plus, I think they're called. He likes the X7, sort of. I mean, I like, I like that, that's, that, that phone's got some cool stuff in it, but you're stuck with Symbian. But excellent photos, excellent video, excellent audio recording. Um, we may get it for the grandparents for their Christmas phone. For real privacy, avoid Facebook. That's the reality bites issue that Adrian points out. Cut right to this. You know Facebook's trying to share your information. I mean, go read Public Parts by Jeff Jarvis. All this stuff exists so they can make money on you. And I'm into the in gear section of Sunday Times, pointing out the test bench by David Price, recommending the Denon AH-C560R for 90 euro. And the reason I'm pointing it out is because if you're using AudioBoo on the iOS device like I do, there's a microphone on there, so you got really good headset, really good headphones, and a really good mic, so you can do AudioBoo as well as enjoy. Hey, enjoy my back garden. Peter Donegan, if you're watching, instead of listening, tell me what I should do about these ferns on my poor Acer. Give me a suggestion about my tomatoes. Are they going to survive? Am I going to get them before it freezes? Admire my dahlia. And those poor carrots. I don't know what I've done to them. Is it bad soil or what? Photos at flickr.com stroke photos stroke Irish eyes. I'm over on www.insubu.ie. Thanks a million for listening. See you later. Bernie Goldbach, Back Garden, and the road beyond saying bye for now.